Welcome to part 16 of Building Uncle Dorkle. Well, you can see the match. This is the uh, yellow ball cap here. And against the paint on the face here. And this is the new one I got. Although not a perfect match, I can live with that. You're not going to get it any better than that unless I change the color of this to match this. But this is pretty damn close, and I'm satisfied with it. Well, modifications after modifications. We, I had to chop these back off. Because, uh... still pretty sturdy. I wanted to have these things come out so I can have the beard move, but I have to make the mouth and I gotta make changes here. So what I have here is the old yellow stuff. I'm going to experiment with the mouth on this before I start cutting up the, uh, the proper colored ball cap material. I'm experimenting with this and then I want to try some rubber in there for the upper lip. So this will be fixed more or less and uh, but yet flexible so that when the jaw closes it'll push up against this and move this a little bit. But I got to get rid of these wings here. I'm afraid, I'm afraid we can't, won't be able to use that method. Like I say this project is ever-changing constantly changing. Now I'm going to take a chance and cut into this but before I do that I want to make these two pieces. Now if you look on this very carefully here, I don't know if I'm in focus or not, you notice how I'm trying to hold the camera and do that, you notice that there's little cuts in these things Well, I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyways, I made little cuts with a razor blade halfway through the rubber. So that when... Because it's, it's a little stiff. And it may prevent the jaw from closing all the way. So... I put a little... Little cuts in them so that they bend a little easier. Now what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to take... They're on a board. They're mounted on a board here. I didn't cut any of this rubber. I'm going to do is put the silicone, lay a bead of silicone under each one of these, put them like this, just just a little bit separate from each other here. And um, fasten them down and let them dry overnight. Okay, I've got silicone in here. The silicone alone might make this very stiff. So I have no idea how that's going to work out. So the only thing I can do is just let it set. So that's all I can do right now with it until the silicone dries overnight. So we'll continue on this video when this sets up. Well, ever-changing project as I said. This turned out to be a total failure. And I got the Adam's apple. This is siliconed in here. I didn't really want to silicone it because the masking tape won't stick to it. But I have no choice. Um, there's going to be a uh, collar here in this area here to keep it from falling down inside the body. In other words, it'll only go down so far. But that's not my worry. The Adam's apple seems to work pretty good. I'm not going to move this now because I've got silicone right in these areas here and I have to leave this rubber loose because otherwise it prevents the mouth from opening all the way. But I I drilled holes here and tried to put that rubber hose in there and put the uh, glue on the uh, silicone on the rubber hose to the uh, vinyl um, ball cap. Ended up ruining a piece 
I've got one more good piece left. And what I think I'm just going to do is this will be the bottom of the mouth and I got to make something for the top. It's not going to be like I want it to be. I can see why ventriloquist uh, dummy makers make them things uh, with a trap door type of mouth because it's physically impossible without having machines, mass produced machines, to make an actual human type of mouth. So I can see why, but I thought I'd try something different, but it just ain't going to work out. So I can make a trap door type of mouth. It'll be mechanically looking, but it's not going to have the moving lips that I want. Well, I'm going to make that collar, and I just got to establish whether that this is a, a hard fiber board type of material, press board, I guess you'd call it. I either got to put it on this side of the... Um, the eye bolt or on this side because everything below the eye bolt is going to be inside the body so what I've got here is a piece of um, the fiber board marked out I'm going to cut it with a coping saw here and then I got to cut it in half have an inch and a quarter diameter hole so that I can slip the two pieces in and then fasten them together and have a hole for this area here now, like I say, I can either put it on this side or this side. So this is going to be the part that's going to keep the um, the head sitting on the uh, on the neck uh, opening in the uh, body. So that's the way it's going to be there. Um, the mouth well. This will all be covered with a beard anyway, so I'm not too, too worried about it. It just looks much more crappier than I thought. It's not a good job at all. I drilled holes here. I was going to make a the flexible, uh, the black hose there. Try to make some kind of a mouth. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to make the mouth completely separate and then mount it on here, fastening it to the lower jaw here area and fastening it here but I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet so we're going to put that off on the side right now and concentrate on this plate right here that I'm going to make out of this well I cut this in half and then I made the hole so that when it goes it's not going here but it just gives you an idea you get this piece here and the other piece over here like this well anyways this is where it's going right in here so what I got to do now is where my thumb is I got to cut that out big enough so that the cord does not rub into the um, fiberboard because we need that uh, smooth finish of the nylon bushing that's in there so if you look down here where my thumb is I won't be cutting that out I'll just be cutting probably about a half inch hole on this side where this arrow is and another hole here so the hole be a half moon like this here only about a half inch in diameter to allow for this then when I get this in there I'll fasten these two together masking tape would be fine and this will be the bottom and this will pretend, prevent it from sliding any further than this point here and I'll still be able to reach this, the controls and everything else. Okay, here's what I did. Actually, I put them in a vise and put them together like this and filed them with a big file. But anyways, that's how they are. So that'll, and then I smoothed the edges out. That'll go on this side here, butt up against this and then be secured. So we're going to do that now. We'll come back on the video when that part's done. Now what I got to do, because this masking tape is not going to give all that much strength, I don't want to put silicone in here because then I'll never add more masking tape in here. So like this area here, where the two pieces of rubber come together 
that's okay because that's going to be uh, I want that to be flexible to some extent but the actual strength of this now to keep this lined up in this hole here um, so it doesn't rub and it's centered right now is I got to take and put a bead of silicone all the way around this base here to go up against this coupling so that that'll give it some strength because right now there's no real strength so what I got to do is to kind of like make sure this is level put a bead a good size bead of silicone around there and let it set now the only thing that's holding these two pieces together is masking tape but I put extra masking tape on each end because I had to cut that down the middle so together with that and the silicone it should be strong enough I mean it ain't like I'm going to jump up and down on it or not I hope not okay well you can see that but there's a bead good heavy bead of silicone all the way around that and that'll have to dry overnight so this will keep it from slipping in it's going to probably have uh, a hole probably about as big where my fingers are going here because this has to be accessible naturally on the inside the main thing is this keeps it from falling through the body the neck area so if I need to pull the head out this plate will be sitting on top of the the body with a, you know with the shoulders the neck area and so forth and in here I'm going to be continuing to work on this because um, it wrinkle look is okay I just need to do something about this part I don't know if I can do anything there well he's supposed to be funny looking anyways but this will be all covered up with a beard and the beards gonna be probably down to about here because I need this to show come back on this video when this is dry while this is drying the silicone under here we'll leave this alone what I'm doing is I'm trying to make a mouth uh, first uh, attempt was a complete failure so we're going to try to make another one and we're using cardboard and then I'm going to use this rubber to go over it and I gotta make it real flexible what I have to do with the cardboard is cut a lot of slits in it before putting this on it so I'm going to make the mouth completely separate the top and bottom of the mouth and then mount it this way rather than try to work on this because I can't lay this down because this silicone's got to set up for 24 hours otherwise I'm going to have a problem here so what I did is I took uh, two pieces of cardboard cut slits in it so that it's got a curved to it this will go on his face under his nose with this flange facing on the inside of the mouth then I gotta cut slits into here because this is going to be the upper lip here I just can't use the rubber by itself it has to have some kind of a, a form to be mounted to so I'm gonna put the rubber over here and I'm gonna silicone it on here after I get this made the way I want it this is the top part then there'll be another one similar to this but it will not have this curve in it it'll be mounted to the lower chin that big protruding jaw that he's got will be like this and then the rubber will go on that so this is the top this is the top so what I got to do is I got to cut a lot of slots in here and uh, so that this can be f more flexible this is not very flexible right now as you can see I've got little slits in uh, what's going to be the upper lip this is the bottom this is the part that goes against the face so that this is sticking out this is curved down and it's also curved with the face contour which will show up more once I mount this I'll probably put a screw here or a screw there I've already got the holes in it anyways what I'm going to try to do now is to take a little piece of this uh, the small piece of the um, where I messed up on the original mouth design and uh, so I don't waste this material because otherwise I'll have to go out and buy another ten dollar ball cap and I don't want to do that we're gonna contact cement this on here so we bring this around like this so that when this is up against the body it'll be a smooth transition although it's going to have a mustache anyways 
So I'm going to try to do that. If I mess up on this, I still got a piece big enough to make the mouth if I have to. But I got to make the mouth in two pieces, the upper lip and the lower lip. And then I'm going to mount the whole thing right onto the uh, face. I'm not going to try to do it on the dummy itself because there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, secure that properly and get it designed right. So I got to make it first, get the lips made, silicone the lips, and so on. So I'm going to uh, fold that, glue it, and uh, clamp it down now, and I'll get back in this video in a little while. Well, I got the, the damn contact cement on there, but it causes this damn rubber to fold up in, underneath here, and it's going to really screw things up. I got it here, and I got it on this side. I got to let this set for a few minutes here, and then I can put the pieces together, and then I got to try to do the... Uh, this part here and then I'll use these clamps to hold uh, hold everything together here okay I got that glued and um, I cut some more slots out of here so that this upper lip will be a little more flexible because every time you add something to it it stiffens up um, I'm gonna leave this this way for now what I want to do is fold it over and then but not all the way down like this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know yet. Because I want to put a big fat bead of silicone on the upper and the lower lips to make the actual lips. So this is this is against the body, the face. This will be under the nose. So this should flex so when he opens and closes his mouth, this should move to some extent. I'll put a piece of cardboard here because I'm getting uh, dirt on this thing pieces of paint and stuff from this workbench here and it's going to ruin the ruin the uh, the rubber here well it's not going to be flexible like I thought it was going to be but time that dries up and everything it's just going to be a stiff upper lip and there's nothing I can do about it there's no way I can make movable flexible lips I thought I could do it but I can't so we'll let this dry. I got silicone on here. I put a red magic marker on there to accent the lips, but it looks phony and stupid. But uh, this is my second attempt at trying to make uh, trying to make the um, lips for this thing. I'm not buying another ball cap, so if this don't succeed, this is the way it's going to have to be. Now I got to make the bottom the bottom lip, but this has got to dry and. Uh, then I'll mount this, or I'll try to mount the whole thing at one shot. All depends on how this comes out.